Hey everyone, it's me Catherine and today I'm here to start a reading vlog and this reading vlog is going to be me reading Demon Slayer. I recently got into the anime so I've been meaning to get to start the manga and I thought I'd take you on my journey. This vlog will be spoilers, there will be spoilers in it because I thought about making it spoiler free but I, I don't want to do that so <laughs> consider this your warning. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so just a little note on how I'm reading the manga. I am using the Shonen Jump app, which I have mentioned previously and which I like very much. Okay, so I've literally just started and I'm still eating, so sorry, I've still got food in my mouth. But can I just say, saying there's no such thing as demons is such a dangerous thing to say in a manga that's called Demon Slayer. Such a dangerous thing to say, like, Tanjiro, don't you understand? That you are a protagonist in a shonen manga. You can't go around saying things like that. I'm sorry, but like, what is that face? What is that face? <laughs> okay, just some quick thoughts. Because I was, I was gonna wait until I, I was gonna wait before my next update before I'd actually caught up with the anime. But right, you know, there's that moment where Muzan's gathered all them demons, these lower demons. And then he gets them together to complain and he's like I want to ask only one thing, why are you members of the lower ranks so weak? Maybe just... I don't... D why make lower ranks and then complain that your lower ranks aren't as strong as your upper ranks? Maybe just do better? Just a thought. Weird angle, weird lighting time because it is late and um, I'm in the kitchen. So apologies for the sound as well. Also, I apologize for the kitchen noises because the fridge just went off. So yes, I'm all caught up now. And so I guess thoughts, because honestly, it was the film that made me enjoy this more. I feel like it was a little cruel to introduce us to the Hashira and then kill one almost immediately afterwards. Like the first mission we get after the rehabilitation and that, that's tragic. I guess, well, thankfully he wasn't a favorite, but he never had chance to be like maybe like, I really liked him after this film, and then he just died. I really hope that's not that's not an indicator of how this is gonna go. So, favourite characters so far, though? I mean, I guess in... in... A yet another disappointingly predictable move. Uh, Gyu, Tomioka. <laughs> I think he's my absolute favourite. When we first met him, I was like, oh look, oh look. A very serious dark-haired character has appeared. Don't immediately pick this one. I was denying it every, every step. Like, nope, absolutely not. I'm not going to be this predictable. And then, and then, we get that moment in the forest after the spider demons. <laughs> Shinobu says this is why nobody likes you. And he's just like, why would you say that? Lots of people like me. She's just like, oh, you didn't know. And that was when I was like, oh, well, well, I guess it's happening. I guess this is happening. I really hope he doesn't die. Can't wait to get attached to him and then he die. And then the other one, other favorite is Shinobu. I didn't like Shinobu at first. I felt like she was a little bit too, too airy fairy. And it wasn't until the rehabilitation thing when she goes up to the roof to sit with Tanjiro and um, he says, are you angry? Because you, you always smell angry. And she's like, oh yeah, I suppose I am. And I like her more after seeing her in the past with her sister and like knowing the reason she's being this airy fairy is because she wants to do it all with a smile for her older sister and siblings. I can, Im I'm immediately, immediately behind siblings. So I'm a big fan of Shinobu now i also really love oh well, i don't remember her name the other lady hashira the love one she's so cute <laughs> she's so cute i'm also predicting i'm going to fall for the angry one but we'll see because he's a bit of a dick to be honest we'll see also <laughs> tanjiro's lost his sword again like he just got this sword and he's lost it again so what's his face is gonna be fuming absolutely fuming <laughs> can't wait for that also 
I wonder if Zenitsu will ever find out that he can, like, they, like he's been doing really badass things in his sleep. He's got to have some inkling that something's going on. So, those are my thoughts right now. I probably won't do another update today, probably the next update will be tomorrow. But yeah, I do plan to get a few more chapters read this evening. And uh, I'll be, I'll check back in tomorrow. <laughs> I knew he'd be back. <laughs> Miss this. This is this, this, just this. Okay, so I realise at this point I'm just I'm just blatantly a liar um, because I'm here updating again. But like, we're on a mission with Tengen, and like, I thought everything was gonna be fine, and now everything might not be fine, and I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. And I'm really scared. Like, I wasn't a big fan of Tengen, but now I quite like Tengen, and I don't know. I don't know why he's just doing this to me. Please let him be okay. 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 <sighs> He's alive. Tengen is alive. I'm so happy. I was... We came this close. We came this close. But he's alive. He's alive. <sighs> it did not become a pattern. It did not become a pattern. I really hoped it wouldn't. Like, why would they do that? Like, why would they kill Rengoku and then, like... Because we'd be expecting it. Right? So the nice thing would be to have them survive, right? But then I guess if people were expecting them, maybe people would expect him to live because like, well, they already killed Rengoku, they wouldn't kill Tengen as well. But Tengen lives. Tengen's alive because Nezuko can burn the poison out of them. That's real handy. Very convenient, but very handy. I am, I am not complaining. Okay. So this is the last time I promise. Yeah, no, this is with my last update for today. Massive lies, so much lies. But this is the last time. But like, we've just met all the upper rank demons and we've got upper rank one, whose face we can't see, but like, so like, do we know? Do we know upper rank one? I don't think it could be Tanjiro's dad. That would be, I don't think it could be. I'd be a bit upset if it is actually. But Zenitsu, there was a mystery man in Zenitsu's past. Whose name I can't recall. Was he? Did we even have his name? Is this? Is this him? I mean, we're gonna find out. Well, I'm sure we'll find out. I mean, it's not on the next page or anything. We're not finding out this chapter. Hmm. 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 That's his dad. He's got a few more eyes than the last time we saw him. Oh, if it's not his dad, it's a, a family member. Granddad, maybe, you know, uncle. But he's got the mark. He's got the mark, so it's... So not a relative? So not a relative. I... I don't... I mean, I guess I just read this to find out, but like... He has the mark. Tanjiro's dad had the mark. But that man looks nothing like Tanjiro. Or Tanjiro's dad. But he has the mark. The man that looks like Tanjiro doesn't have the mark, but this man does. So who? That it? And I really need to stop because the battery's running low. They have a doll. They have a fighting doll that looks like the demon that has the earrings and the markings, and it's a training doll modelled after him. That's old, but it's the man. It's the man. It's the man. Okay, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Okay, show. Oh dear. So it's Thursday. It is now Thursday. I did go to sleep. Did I sleep well? No. So uh, I would like to say it's like Thursday morning, but it's not. It's Thursday afternoon and I haven't showered yet. I feel like shit <laughs> because I didn't sleep well. Oh my god, I'm so tired. But 
we have a time frame so that doll so i don't know much about it but it was during the sengoku period which was like over 300 years ago apparently and the doll hasn't broken once in all that time so the doll itself is at least 300 years old which means that man was alive like well over 300 years ago so somehow i mean with the mark right with the mark that was the mark i'm not i'm not much that's the mark that Tanjiro's dad had right on his face and that's the mark that Tanjiro got when he was fighting in that last fight right right it was the mark it was the thing so somehow he got involved I don't know I mean I guess we're gonna get explanations but like wait that boy descends from uses of sun breathing wait sun breathing that's what we found out that uh Tanjiro his dad did Tanjiro it's sun breathing not flame breathing I saw that person, <gasps> right, I saw that person in a dream, that's why, because Tanjiro had that weird dream. I'm sorry, like, I'm taking you on this ride now while we just go through this. Maybe it's inherited memory. An inherited memory, yeah, but, um, I guess that's it for now, about the doll. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna go read some more and then we'll be back. I know it's pointless trying to guess the ages of anime characters. This kid is younger than Tanjiro. Tanjiro is what? Is Tanjiro like 16? I've been imagining Tanjiro at like 16. So this kid's younger. This kid's like what? Nezuko's age maybe? Younger than... Nezuko's what? 14? And he's a Hashira. The fuck? I guess some people just... just have that talent. And then there's Tanjiro. Um, What is this? What is this? How, how has Haga Nezuka been hiding this under his clothes? Or is this where he's been, what is this what he's been doing for the past, who knows how long since he went missing? It's like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Can't you know this? I can't decide whether he's precious or just fucking weird. He's like talking to, to, to this kid, Genya. And he's like, don't talk to me like Give me a friend. Huh? We are friends. <laughs> you broke my arm, mate. It's like you broke my fucking arm. That was necessary. You were completely in the wrong. It's just like completely just like you want one of these? Something about a tooth, you must be mistaken. And it's like I'm not mistaken. I still have the tooth. Oh no, you dropped a tooth. <laughs> This one might kill tooth because he wanted to return it. Why is he always so angry? <laughs> he must be hungry. He like looks at this kid who's full of rage and like he's just like no you're yeah, this this kid's just hungry. <laughs> he's just hungry. Oh man, don't you know why? <laughs> I will get in the shower. I will get in the shower eventually. But Genya, Genya. You alright there, mate? You're looking a little bit, um, demon like. I mean, I guess it explains how he healed and why his tooth came back. But I assumed it was just some weird, not weird, but just some spiritual thing that the What's His Face taught him. But, um, he looks like a demon to me. To me. Okay, last time. This is the last time you'll see me before I have to get in the shower. Probably. Before I get in the shower and get some food. But, 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 but. He has outstanding reflexes and adapts to the fight. And he demonstrates explosive growth at critical moments. Almost like he's a protagonist in a shonen manga. <laughs> As promised, showered. But like, turns out the angry kids have a really fucking tragic backstory. A really fucking tragic backstory. I mean, it's told in like no time at all. Like it's very, very brief and summarized. But you know what? We have confirmed siblings and you know me. <laughs> I'm a real sucker for siblings, especially the older one. So Sanemi <laughs> is immediately, immediately gone up in my books. We'll see how I feel when we get a proper look at Sanemi because we've only seen him briefly like that one time when he was a bit of a dick to ne bit a lot of a dick to Nezuko but like shit turns out he's an older sibling so I'm going to give him a second chance ha how 
How, 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 hold on, I need to put my, I need to put this down. How, how does this, this, how does this, and I know, I get that it's only a mask, I get it. But like, the absolute state of this man and his personality, how does this become this? Explain. Explain. They can't do this to me. The absolute state of this man, they can't do this to me. They can't do this to me. This is too much. This is too much. Two, two tragic backstories so close together. Both siblings. I can't. Why? 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 So Genya, not a demon, just a, a human that can eat demons and temporarily gain their abilities. If he eats a strong demon, his strength and regeneration increase proportionally. Temporarily gains the physical constitution of a demon because he has a strong jaw, incredible jaw strength and, a, and special digestive organs. Do we want to know how he came about these special digestive organs? Like how did that happen again just humans having a normal one having a normal one oh man they're trying to find out how the marks happen how to get the marks and like ken noji has no idea i bet muichiro like look she's like it hit me like wow like woom fwa my heart and stuff was all but dump it off and my ears rang like ping crack crack pop <laughs> no she's so cute she's Oh man, no, that's really adorable. I mean, in the same like Tanji, uh, I was like, it was like ah, gua, and my stomach go womb. <laughs> oh boy, they're just like what the fuck? She's like so into this, and then they're just like what? Yeah, and I did. I thought so. And we should have probably had no idea. I mean, how you? How do you know? Like, if it's on your face, especially if it's on your face. Like, I think Canlodges was like on her boob. Maybe. Oh, Moichiro knows. Moichiro's Mui, Mui, got an idea. I think my temperature was over thirty-nine degrees Celsius. Tanjiro did mention that he was running on a fever. So it's basically just survival, like they were brought to the edge of death and they literally had no other reason, it was to survive. <laughs> Sanami's like, can it really be that simple? <laughs> Thank you, I envy your simple mind for thinking that. You know, just just simply push yourself to, to the end, to the edge. Simply push yourself so hard that you get a fever and almost kill yourself. Just simply do that. So I guess we've got more information now, like things are moving quite quickly. So I guess the I'm going to get more answers. Since Lady Amine is left, I'll excuse myself. I'm not involved. I'm different from you guys. Wait, what do you mean I'm different from you guys? Gyu, what's wrong? What's wrong, mate? Talk to me. What? 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 So my man's feeling unworthy. He's feeling worthless right now. Because although he passed final selection, he didn't defeat a single demon and had to be saved. He can't even stand shoulder to shoulder with the Hashira. He's different from them. I don't deserve a place in the Demon Slayer Corps. Mate, have you seen you in action? Mate, have you fucking seen you in action? Oh man, no. No. I might have to kick the shit out of him. Oh my god. Look at that face. It's a waste of your time. No, I need to kick the shit out of him. I need to beat to beat this man's sense of worth back into him. Oh, oh no. I think we got him. Um, I think we got him. That easy, that easy. I think we got him. We don't have to kick the shit out of him. Although it looks like Sabuto's about to, but I think we're okay. This child, this child, this child. Uh oh, he isn't reacting at all. <laughs> Was I too mean? Did I just make things worse? No, I know. <laughs> 
And if I win, he has to cheer himself up and train me. I still have permission to return to active duty so we can't spar. He doesn't like to talk, but you don't need to talk during an eating contest. It's a great idea. And look at his face. Look at his face. Like, this is the best idea I've ever had. I'm so smart. <laughs> Do you know why? Why are you like this? No, but. No, but. You want to have a sober eating contest? Why? <laughs> but he did it anyway. <laughs> he did it anyway. <laughs> oh, man. I love them so much. Okay, so I'm just about to settle down for a little nap because I'm so fucking tired. But before I do, uh, I remember I was going to give Sanemi another chance. Mmm. I don't know about that, guys. He seems kind of a dick. And like, Genyo hasn't always been the best, but like, Sanemi was really about to just poke his fucking eyes out. He's, he's clearly got some things he needs to work through. Um, so, I'm gonna put that second chance on hold <laughs> for a little bit. <laughs> But first nap. Okay, so we're back. Back. And, you know, Genya... Genya seems like a pretty decent guy. Like, a decent kid. Like, sure, he was real angry at first. And, like, he's definitely got some anger problems. But he seems nice. I like him. I hope he does well and doesn't die. Please don't die. I also don't want Sanemi to die either. Because siblings don't have a great track record in this. I mean, Tanjiro, how many siblings did he have? And now he's only got the one left, Nezuko, who's a demon. Shinobu, she had an older sister, dead. Muichiro had a twin, dead. <laughs> Sanemi and Genya had other siblings, they're dead. Then Goku, he's an older brother. He has a younger brother who's still very much alive. Then Goku, dead. Tengen, didn't he have siblings? There were seven of them, right? And now there isn't. I don't remember how many are left. I think it was something like, oh, was there nine of them and seven died? I can't remember. It was a, I mean, it was only yesterday. It was literally only yesterday I read that bit, but I can't remember. So Genya seems nice, despite his anger issues we've seen previously. So holding out hope that Sanemi comes around. For we don't know, we don't, haven't seen much of Sanemi on his own or seen anything from his like perspective. So we'll, uh, we'll have to see. Okay, so I wasn't sure on Himejima because again, a lot of, with a lot of the Hashira and that we don't see a great deal of them and sometimes when we do see like just a little bit, it's not enough but this right here the little pat on their head is too cute this whole thing is too cute I love Himejima I love this man Why am I so easy? Is Zenitsu okay? Is my boy okay? I mean, he's been a whiny bitch this entire time, but is he okay? Is my child okay? Is he okay? Is this his turning point? I don't- I like, obviously I want him to do better, but I don't want him to just like, not be himself, you know? I hope he's okay. No! Why is he- Why is he like this? Hold on, let me go back. But at least I learned what food he likes. Next time I'll keep an old haki in my pocket and give it to Shinazuka when we meet. Good idea. Then I'm sure we'll get a look. Look at his little face. Then I'm sure we'll get a look. No. Will someone please stop them? They'll get into a fight. But no, we don't. No. Ah. <laughs> Damn! Uwayashiki just... He just fucking blew his house up with his wife and kids inside? Did he really just take them all out? Did he really just do that? A trap? Shit, dude. That's cold. He just fucking blew his house up. He just fucking blew his house up. I hope his wife was at, very, at the very least consulted about this. 
Was she aware that she was about to die? I mean, I understand not telling your kids, that would be like horrible. Like, kids, you're gonna die today. Just so you know. Fucking hell, everything's going down. Tamayo's fucking shown up. Like, she's got him stabbed. She's like put her fist through his chest that's got a concoction in it that makes demons human again. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing it's not gonna work because we're only on chapter 100 and something and there's 200 and odd, so like, this isn't how it ends. But shit, she is not playing around. She is, she is gonna try and take him down with her. And the Hashira. Himejima's here. Fuck! Himejima just took his head off. But like, obviously, I'm assuming Muzan is not, like, there's a reason he's survived as long as he has. That's definitely not the way to kill him, but like, fuck! What is, what, what, what is wrong with these two? Why, why is his face like that? It's freaky. What's that look on his face? He's just like, let's go. What? Why? These two? What? Why? What? So, things are getting really intense right now. Like, real tense. Um, Shinobu's died. Uh, we've met someone that Zenitsu used to I'm guessing the guy whose face we didn't see in that flashback. Who became a demon. And because he became a demon, the old man. I don't think- it wasn't Zenitsu's- Blood grandpa, but he calls him grandpa, killed himself. Shinobu's dead. I don't want to believe it yet, but the crow said he, she's dead. I'm still in denial. We'll see how I feel later. But Zenitsu's about to face this demon who's now upper six. But I'm guessing this is the change in Zenitsu's like whole thing. But why now? Why all of a sudden? Because I think a lot's going to happen and he's going to get real tense. I'm probably not going to update as frequently. I'll probably update once things have calmed down a little, depending on what happens, we'll see. But, uh, Shinobu's not dead. She can't be dead. Please don't let her be dead. I know I literally just said they wouldn't be updating often, but like, damn! Zenitsu got reliable. Look at him. Like, not, not whinging once. He just calm, collected, just absolutely wrecked. Just wrecked him. Go Zenitsu. I'm back. But he did it. Zenitsu did it. I waited till a bit later to make sure that he is dead, but I think he is dead. Zenitsu's not in good shape, but he defeated the demon. Like, it was pretty quick. He developed his own technique. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. You aren't worthless. Just need to have a little faith in yourself. You do deserve to be here. I'm sorry, we're back on the floor. Horrible lighting, horrible sound, because I'm in the kitchen. But like, I was gonna wait till tomorrow, but... Mojino died. Kenya died. And Shinobu was really dead. She planned it all. We're alive, it's alright, but Tokito. Tokito. And so he decides to put his brother next to him, who's alive. <laughs> It turns out Shinobu was younger than I thought as well. She was younger than Kanoji, I think he's 19. <sighs> but she was not I just was like, why? I mean, at least he got to be with his brother again, but like... His brother's not exactly happy to see him, but I just... Then when Sanemi wakes up and his brother's there, he <laughs> can say he's sorry. He just wants to apologize. Are you a touch you idiot? No, because he's dying. I thought we feel the same. I mean, he's definitely not. He definitely threatened to poke your eyes out. But he did come to protect him at the start of the fight and um, when Kenya got involved he, he showed up to protect him and then he just died he just died now everyone gets to see my ugly crying face honestly it'd have been it'd have been sad if Sanemi died but he's the older brother you know when it's the uncle Read the manga, she said. 
It'll be a good time, she said. <sighs> cool. <sighs> so my heart's broken now. Good. Good. <laughs> I say things can only get better, but there's still plenty of people who are alive who could die right about now. <sighs> I think Morata just died. I can't remember his face, so it's hard to tell when it's just like among everybody else. But it looks like he might be Murata. Just that. Why? I mean, I guess this started off the way it's ending. It started off with a bunch of people dying. And it's gonna end with a bunch of people dying. I should have expected this. But I hoped. I hoped for better. I hoped for better. This cannot be happening. This cannot be happening. I know, no. Apparently, in the strike tower in the girl Hashira both seem to have dead at the hands of minions. Seem to have. Seem to have. Don't tell me they're dead. Please, no. Please, no. Please don't let them die. Please don't let them die. There's been enough. Come on. There's been enough death. There's been so much death. Please don't let them die. Please don't let them die. Oh, thank God. At least for now. She's alive. She's alive. Oh my God. They're both alive. You're alive. They're alive. They're alive. Please stay that way. Please stay that way. Please stay that way. Fucking yes. What's his face? I don't remember his name. The the demon that Tamayo changed. The, the the Tamayo made. Fucking good dude. We've only got like twenty less than twenty chapters left, I think. <sighs> no. No. Look at his face. Look at his face. I mean, he's the protagonist in a shonen manga. He's not dead, right? He's gonna come back and be like, amazing. Right? 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 Please. Please. In, in, in uh, happier news, my battery's on 69%. Nice. But like, Tanjiro can't be dead. Okay, wake up Nezuko. Tanjiro is in danger. Oh, Nezuko's currently in the process of being turned back into a human. Did it work? And also, you know, the better news. Tengen looks amazing like this. Like, this is a good look for him. This is an excellent look for him. I like this look a lot. But Nezuko, like... She cool? She cool, do we think? It looks like she's still a demon. She's following her dad. Save him. Please save him. No, everyone's dying. Everyone's dying. Oh my god. Himejim is here, so that means Sanemi's here as well. Sanami. Sanami. Okay. All the good news. Murata's not dead. Murata wasn't the one who died. He's fine. Tanjiro is down, taking him someplace safe and tend to his wounds. Okay, so they don't believe he's dead. No one thinks he's dead. He's just like severely injured. <sighs> so the snake fella, we've just had his, his little backstory. And uh, how he says that if he's reborn as a human being in a peaceful world without demons, he'll tell. Kind of of his feelings and like mate no don't come on you need to just you need to live now live now you're fine as you are you're fine as you are please live also i'm a bit disappointed that kind of like literally the only lady left has had such a piss pot poor display of her abilities like she's obviously strong she's a bloody hashira and yet somehow she just ended up getting in the way like shinobu's dead she's the only one left apart from kanal kanal please please do better Please do better, but just for now, just live. Okay, so the kids are here. The kids are here. You know, Skei, Kanao, even Zenitsu, like he's, but he's there and he's doing his best. Don't die, kids, please. Please don't die. Please. Tanjiro's out here looking a little rough, but he's back in the fight. He's back in the fight. It is on. He looks like shit. But the fight is on and Nezuko's on her way for whatever reason. Still a demon, not a human. So let's see how this goes. Oh god. No 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 no. Don't either of you die, please. Please don't either of you die. No, 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 no. Please don't tell me they're gone too. And Sanemi. Oh god.
glad Sanemi's not dead. Fucking hell. <sighs> okay, Zenitsu's so okay. He's rambling on about thingy, but like, um, Inosuke is fine. Gyu's alive. Oh my god, Gyu's alive. No. No, 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 Tanji, don't know. No, 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 no. Look at his face. <sighs> please, no, please, no. And Nezuko's arrived. Nezuko's here. Oh my god. <sighs> what? What? Well, his arm grew back. Tanjiro. No, Nezuko, come on. No, 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 no. We've not done all this for, for Tanjiro to kill people now. Yeah, literally no one can fight anymore. No one can fight. Everyone's on their last legs. And Tanjiro's turned into a demon. Oh no, they can't follow through. They can't do it. Nezuko, oh how the tables have turned. Please, come on, she's clinging on. Oh my god, last she is clinging on. He's got like spines coming out of him. Gyu, please don't die now. Tanjiro's fighting it. Okay, he appears to be fighting it. Something's happening. It's not all clear, but he's fighting it. No. 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 Wait about eight more hours until your limit reset. I have four more chapters left. <sighs> oh, what's this? Proper lighting? Well, good morning, everybody, and what a beautiful morning it is to finish some Demon Slayer. So let's do this. Can I say, honestly, huge props to Tanjiro for like, Muzan's like, everyone's dead. Loads of people are dead. Why the fuck do you want to go back, you know? If you want a demon, you will die in a few years. You will pay for manifesting the mark. Think only about yourself. Take this opportunity and hold on for a while and I know I'm going to die as a human. After so many others have died, like, mate, the, the fact that Tanjiro isn't in, like, so many people are dead and Tanjiro's like, no, I want to go back. I want to go back. I would be... Grief is hard, man. And, like, Tanjiro's been through more than most, I guess, would in their lifetime. Like, he's 16 years old and, like, he's seen so much death. Honestly, I don't know if I would have had the strength to fight against Muzan at that point. I'd be like, so many people are dead. No, you're right. I'm so fucking depressed right now. Just take me. But then again, if I lived on as a demon, what if I had all my memories of being human and then I lived on forever? That would be awful. In fact, no, I take, that, I take that back, scratch that, just kill me now. Just fucking kill me now, mate. Kill me now. But don't, Tanjiro, don't die. But it looks like he's not, because look! Look at the arms of the people. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, that means he did die. That's Iguro. Shinobu. Then Goku. Himejima. I guess one of those is Kanloji as well, although I can't quite make her out. Nezuko, Nezuko's pulling him up. Nezuko's pulling him up. You're coming with me. We've conquered the sun. No, Muzan. Fuck off. Oh, Takito. Somehow in my head I'd forgotten that Takito died. Literally he's gone. Or I just remembered. Shit. Yeah, they were willing to risk their lives for others. They were sad, but they did not want that for anyone else. So they want him to live. Fuck off, Muzan. No, we're coming out of this. We're coming out of this. Open your eyes. Oh god. Oh no, he's back! <laughs> oh god, Senitsu! I will make him pay his whole life for what he did to me and to you too, my wife. Nessa was like, wait, what? Wife? <laughs> the fuck are you on about me? I barely know you. He's so tired. Oh my god, look at this poor man. Look at him. <laughs> oh my god. Why does it look like Inosuke is like trying to eat him? Why does it look like he's trying to eat him? We've got the final Hashirami and it's literally just... Sanemi and Kyu, they look so lonely. This is too fucking sad. Oh, that poor kid, he's like what, eight years old and he had so much, so much shoved on his shoulders at like the last minute. Like immediately after his mum and dad and was it his older sisters, I can't remember, died. Oh god, Sanemi's smiling, look at him, look at him. He's actually smiling. Of oh, course, this is so much. Kenya's dead. Oh wait, of course, wait, they're not all dead. Take 
Tengen's still alive. Tengen's still alive. Oh my god. I mean, he's not a Hashira, but again, they don't eat Hashira anymore. But like, look at his little happy face. Look at it. You know, Ski's beautiful little face. Sanemi came by and gave her Iguro snake. Kuru, kuru, kaburamu, kaburamaru, kaburamaru. No! No, do you see this? It's too fucking sad. <laughs> oh, my emotions. My look at my face. <sighs> Fuck off, Zenitsu. That was an emotional moment. Life shining across the years. Hold up, hold up. Modern day, what well, modern day? What kind of fucking time jump is this? No look, no look who it is. Look who it is, no. Okay, like they may have died but they did come back, they came back. <laughs> Yo, look, look, fuck, wait, 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 wait. Modern day Giyu and Savito and the girl's name who I can't remember. Oh, Yushiro Yamamoto. Paints these of a beautiful man. So he's still alive. Oh my god, he's still here. Hey, look, look, look. Oh god, this is, this is so dumb, but it's making me so happy. It's making me so happy. They have a photo of him. Well, I guess it would be a painting. Like a painting of them all that they've framed and put on the wall. Oh. Oh man. Okay, what's the 205.1? I guess maybe the mangaka felt bad for killing off Rengoku's like Kyojuro so early. <laughs> oh, that's the end. That's the end. Oh boy. So that has been Demon Slayer. I went from being very lukewarm about it to like, I mean, I was in fucking tears. You made me so I was in tears. I don't know how I feel about the time jump jumping to modern day. Like, I guess it was nice. I guess maybe some people would have liked that. I think what I would have liked, and I, I know I got ridiculously happy seeing familiar faces and like seeing them happy in like another life. But I think as with, as always with these sorts of endings, like I don't dislike a happy, happy ending, but what I would prefer what I genu generally prefer, prefer is seeing them, rather than it being years and years and years, in this case, lots of years later and everyone being happy, I'd rather it be just like a few years later. I mean, sure, they're not going to, they've been, they've, they've been heavily, 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 heavily fucking traumatised. So I would have rather have seen them coping with that, finding the little things in life to be happy about despite knowing that you know a lot of people are dead like that like that thing with Kanao and um the snake's name who well, i can't remember karabu Ma kaburamaru or something Kabura kaburamaru just like that that like although it's like i guess bittersweet but it's nice that the snake has found a home with someone who knew him you know i don't guess Kanao wasn't close or anything but like there's a connection there like that i liked that and just them going back to Tanjiro's home, like, even though, you know, Tanjiro's family is, well, apart from him and Nezuko, like, their family's dead. But, like, going back, I'm sorry, I'm squeaking. It's because I've got to, I've got to excite this early. Well, I say this early, it's quarter, it's quarter twelve. But, um, what a fucking ride. What a ride. Anyway, thank you so much for being with me through this journey. I will leave all, like, Links you might want to check out are in the description, like my socials that I barely use, but they're there anyway. My Twitch is also linked down there. So that, that's going to about do it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day wherever you are, and I will hopefully see you in another video. Bye!